Hey what's up guys so now I'm gonna show you how to make a tic-tac-toe game in scratch so let's get started so basically this is a two player tic-tac-toe you click on it change its chance the next player can play his chance and so you win lose or it's a draw let's get started so first of all make a new sprite and name it tic-tac-toe then go to costumes and make a new costume just a square just like this remove any border and it can be whatever size you want like i'll make it 60 by 60 just like this i'll snap it to the center now name it blank duplicate this name it x and duplicate this name it o and in x you can just draw an x just like this for the chance of o you can just draw your an o just like this so we have blank x and o now we can start coding so first of all we need to render the grid so basically when the green flag clicked hide because we'll be working with clones so let's make the script for spawning the clones so make a variable called clone number for this sprite only and put here like set clone number to zero then repeat nine times change clone number by one and create clone of myself now you can put this here and that's it this will create nine clones now for the clone script we'll do it like when i start as a clone first of all go to front layer and and show so it will show and also let's make another variable called clone id for the sprite only click on ok hide both of these variables now set clone id to clone number so basically this will run like it will set the clone number to one create clone of myself so when the clone will be created it will set the clone id variable to clone number so if the clone number is say two clone id will be two now even if clone number changes here the clone id will not change it will remain constant for the clone so each clone will have a different clone id and that will help us in a lot of ways now we need to set their x and y positions so for doing that you can make a list call it x and another list call it y you can just import values like for x you can put negative 75 then 0 then 75 negative 75 then 0 then 75 negative 75 0 75 9 values and in y you can put 75 3 times 0 3 times and negative 75 3 times now these are my values because my block is 60 by 60 if you have a larger size you can have to just increase the space once you have made these lists you can just hide them now once you have done that put here go to x0 y0 and here you can put item 1 of x and duplicate this item 1 of y now instead of 1 you can just put clone id so they'll go to their respective positions so let's see if this works as you can see this is working now we need a chance which is like x then o then x then o so first of all make a variable called chance for all sprites and you can make this visible in a large readout like this go to this script and put here like in the green flag click set chance to x so when the game starts it will be x just like this now you can put a forever loop in the clone so when i start as a clone forever if else touching mouse pointer now we can just add an effect for a button like set brightness effect to maybe 20 and in the else set brightness effect to 0 now to detect a click if mouse down wait until not mouse down then if touching mouse pointer so this will basically detect a click now whatever you put here will be executed when you click on it now we need to make a list called boxes once you make this you can just put here like blank 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 nine times like this and you can just hide it so when this will be clicked so put a if else statement here if else item clone id of boxes is equal to blank so here and if you can just put it like replace item clone id of boxes with chance so if it is x chance it will just set it to x or else it will just set it to o and instead of putting the switch to costume thing here you can just go to forever and put it here so forever switch to costume item clone id of boxes now you also need to change the chance if it was x it will go to o and if it was o it will go to x so to do that put an if else statement here then an equal to operator chance is equal to x then if chance is equal to x set chance to o and in else you can just put set chance to x this will basically change the chance and in else you can just put your like say already taken and yeah this should work so let's see x then we have o x o x now you can see i have one but the game is still running and also it did not detect my win and also you can see when i restart it will just be where i left it last time so to reset the list you can just make scripts like when the green flag clicked delete all of boxes and you can just put your repeat nine times add blank two boxes so this will basically reset the list now you can see it is blank now we need to detect the win so if it is like this xxx it should just win so to do that make a block and name it check 
for add an input name it one another input two another input three and then you can put a label winner and put another input and name it win click on ok and now we'll just put here like if item then drag this one here item one of boxes is equal to so item one basically basically this of boxes is equal to win you can just add like this and duplicate this two times and instead of one and one you can just put two and three now you can use a nested and like this so we have three inputs put it in if in the first slot put this the second put this and in third put this make a variable called winner for all sprites set winner to win so this block will basically be like if one two and three are x so if the first slot second slot and third slot are x it will basically set the winner to win basically x we also need to broadcast a message called end now you can put here like when I receive end wait 5 seconds and then stop all. Now we will work with this block. So you can just put here like when the green flag clicked forever. Now you can just put this block and we have 8 ways to win this game. 3 horizontally, 3 vertically and 2 diagonals. So we'll just start with horizontally. So 1, 2 and 3 is equal to x. Don't duplicate this. Then it will it will be for o. So 1, 2, 3, o. Then you can duplicate both of them. Then we'll put 4, 5 and 6 in both of them. x and o. Then you can put another one. 7, 8, 9 for both of them. Now we will go vertically. So you can just duplicate all of them and put it here. Now you can put it like 1, 4, 7. 1, 4, 7 for both. Then you can put 2, 5, 8, 2, 5, 8 for O, then 3, 6, 9 for both. Now we will go for diagonals. So you can just duplicate 4 of them like this. So diagonals are 1, 5, 9 for both and 3, 5, 7, 3, 5, 7. And that's it. Now we also need to detect if it is a draw. You can just put a like if not boxes contains blank so if the list is full like if everything is x or o there will be no blank option like this so it will just basically be full so if it is full it will also check if there is no winner if winner is equal to n slash a or whatever you like it here you have to just set it here so put set winner to n slash a so if winner is equal to n slash a then only it will set winner to draw and also it will broadcast end and yeah this should work Let's see if it works. So you can see we have 9 blocks. Winner is no one and chance is x. We'll go for x, then o, then x, then o, then x. So you can see the this line worked and the winner is x. But you can see we can still play. So to fix this, you can just go here like put a if statement if winner is equal to n slash a. And you can just put everything here like from if touching mouse pointer thing inside of this in the clone script. Now you can see this will work x o x o x so once we win we cannot play anymore but you can see this brightness effect glitch so to fix this you can just do it like put an if else statement if else not you can just drag this winner is equal to na here and put the script inside of else and then if you can just put your set brightness effect to zero you can just remove this if statement and put it inside the forever loop in the clone script now this will work x o x o x you can see it wins there is no brightness of a glitch here and yeah that's it now if you think this is looking really weird you can just actually make a backdrop for it just like this we have made a background and you can see this looks really good and that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed and done something today thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video